Let me get to Congresswoman Liz Cheney, Republican from Wyoming. Uh, Congresswoman, you, of course, were an outspoken opponent of the tactics that we saw in terms of the politics, whether the Electoral College vote should be objected to. So you were one who said, it's time now, the election is over, and it's time to perform our constitutional duty. So just so we know where you stand on this. But let's just get to what happened today. Where were you? What did you see? And how are you? Uh, fine, Savannah. Um, I'm not going to talk about where we are, but we were on the floor of the House of Representatives um, uh, performing our constitutional duty to count the electoral votes uh, when uh, we had to be evacuated. And um, we are uh, you know, in a place with, with bipartisan um, group of members, and uh, my, my Democratic counterpart, Hakeem Jeffries, and I um, have both um, made clear that uh, we, we do not intend to allow um, this kind of mob violence to stop us from carrying out our constitutional duties. Well, our, um, insti so our institutions have got to be defended and protected. We have an oath to the Constitution. Um, uh, the you know sending uh, an angry, violent mob to disrupt proceedings at the Capitol uh, cannot cannot stand. When you say um, sending certainly... sending a mob, who do you believe is responsible? Who sent the mob? Look, the president of the United States uh, called his supporters to Washington D.C. and has dispatched them, uh, you know, uh, without telling them to stop it. Now, I believe he has spoken out uh, in the last few minutes, possibly. But it, you know, we we live in a in a republic that is governed by the rule of law and by our constitution, and. Uh, this, this cannot stand, and it won't stand. We will carry out our constitutional obligation. We'll count the electoral votes, uh, and and we all need to remember. We all need to come together. This that, that the the republic, the future of the republic, depends upon Americans standing as one, um, abiding by the Constitution of the United States. We we do not uh, bend to mob rule. We don't bend to political threats. There comes a time when. Uh, our elections are over, and we have to carry out our constitutional duty. And, Con and you know, that's the moment that, uh, that we have arrived at now, and we're going to continue to do that. Congresswoman, I'm sure, like all of us, you're looking at these images. I mean, the one we have on right now, somebody sitting <laughs> in the chair of where the, the Senate president presides over the United States Senate, and here's some protester sitting there. Now we've got another shot of some protester sitting in an office uh, with his feet up, literally with his feet up. This is the United States Capitol. This is sacred ground in our democracy. What what goes through your mind when you see these images? Well, um, it is infuriating and it is uh, it's heartbreaking, uh, and uh, it, it it will not stand. You know, we we are um, uh, a democratic republic. We have uh, survived uh, for you know over 240 years, uh, and we have had the peaceful transfer of power. The peaceful transfer of power is something that you know Ronald Reagan talked about. That that in some instances we take for granted, but it is miraculous. And I think that what we've seen today is um, that that it, it is something that is very fragile, but that we all must stand for it. The president should immediately. Uh, make clear that this kind of activity, of violent activity at the Capitol, um, has to stop. Uh, and he ought to make clear that, uh, you know, he will abide by the results of the uh, Electoral College vote um, and uh, that he will uh, ensure the peaceful transition of power. Are you, and there will be plenty of time to analyze this later, but just in the moment, as you sit there, sheltered in place, locked down with fellow members of Congress, are you disturbed that this was able to happen at all, that security was such that a group of protesters turned mob could come in and breach the United States Capitol? It isn't as though this wasn't advertised. I mean, <laughs> this has been boiling and being planned for days and weeks. Yes, I mean, it, it, it obviously uh, is um, a, it's a terrible day in the history of the Republic, but I think what's important to make clear is that we, we are strong, we're resilient, and we have bipartisan dedication and commitment 
to, to protecting and defending the rule yeah. of law and, and to protecting and upholding our oath to the Constitution. And Congresswoman, forgive me for interrupting, but the president has tweeted. Uh, well, I, now I'm told he, he didn't. He's about to tweet a video statement. Now, um, he had been urged by members of the Republican caucus, including senators and members such as yourself, to say something. I think they're telling me we've got this video statement from the president. Can we roll it? Let's go. I know you're pain. I know you're hurt. We had an election that was stolen from us. It was a landslide election, and everyone knows it, especially the other side. But you have to go home now. We have to have peace. We have to have law and order. We have to respect our great people in law and order. We don't want anybody hurt. It's a very tough period of time. There's never been a time like this where such a thing happened, where they could take it away from all of us, from me, from you, from our country. This was a fraudulent election. But we can't play into the hands of these people. We have to have peace. So go home. We love you. You're very special. You've seen what happens. You see the way others are treated that are so bad and so evil. I know how you feel. But go home and go home in peace. Well, that was the statement from the president released via Twitter. Congressman Cheney, I think you're still with me. I mean, here you are. You're on lockdown. Was that good enough for you? He's telling folks this was stolen from you. This was awful. But go home now. Do you think that was the kind of statement that will get the job done? Look, the, the president of the United States um, should have before now made clear that he wasn't going to countenance uh, any kind of, of uh, attack or violent activity like this. And, uh, I, you know, it is it is good that he has asked people to go home. But what has happened today is unprecedented in American history. And when you have violent mobs storming the floor of the House of Representatives and the floor of the United States Senate, and the president's response is to say that he loves those people, um, you know, it, it, is, uh, it, it, it is absolutely um, counter to uh, the Constitution um, and, and counter to the peaceful transition of power and the values on which this republic was built. We have but, oaths that we have taken to the Constitution, and we got to uphold those oaths. And, but, uh, but you know, con and Congresswoman, I mean, even more than that, I mean, yes, I, I hear what you're saying, but is it sort of, is it going to get the job done? In other words, is he talking out of both sides of his mouth? He's saying, go home, but you were robbed. You, were, you have every right to be angry. This was a fraud. This was stolen. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> he's doing two things at once. And the goal here, I think, of the statement, I think what those of you in lockdown right now who would like to get about your business and go on with your day, it, is, there's one goal, which is get this thing under control and get the mob out of there. Look, I, I, there, there's no question about that, Savannah. You know, we have very deep and, and clear political differences in this country. But we don't resolve those differences by mob violence. And it doesn't matter what side of those issues you stand on. Um, the president of the United States statement now, uh, in my view, was completely inadequate. What he has done and what he has caused here um, is something that we've never seen before in our history. Um, you know, it's been 245 years, um, and no president has ever failed to concede uh, or agree to leave office after the Electoral College has voted. And I think what we are seeing today is a result of that, a result of convincing people that somehow uh, Congress was going to overturn the results of this election, uh, a result of, of suggesting that he wouldn't leave office. Uh, those are very, very dangerous things. And uh, he, he you know, will be uh, remembered. This will be part of his legacy. And it is a dangerous moment for the country. Uh, Congresswoman Liz Cheney of Wyoming, stay safe, keep us posted, uh, and thank you for your time. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Stan. I appreciate it.